Kanye West has created a school in honor of his dead mother. Donda Academy is in its third year, but we still don't know much about this. Kanye has done everything in his power to keep it a secret, forcing parents and children to sign NDAs and charging 15K a year for an education that's not even accredited. Is this really a school or a sick cult created to help Kanye cope? So let's get into it. We need to talk about Kanye West's school, Donda Academy. So everybody's asking, what's the deal with Donda Academy? I mean, Kanye West is known for a lot of things, but creating a school seems very off-brand. Personally, I don't know how I would feel about my children going to a school ran by Kanye. And it's a red flag that his own children don't even go to the school. So if his kids aren't going there, then why should you send yours? Kanye does have some reasoning for why his kids do not attend his academy. He claims that Kim did not want their children going to his school, so he had to compromise for now, but he does want his children to attend Donda Academy. I want my kids to go to Donda and I have a, I have to fight for a say so. Donda Academy is a private school near Los Angeles that he created and named after his beloved late mother, Donda West. So I do think it's cool that Kanye decided to honor his mother by naming this school after her. And he's named a few of his projects after his mother. But something I can't get over is the fact that the parents who send their children to this school have to sign an NDA. When you guys hear the acronym NDA, you already know that something shady is going on here. Because anytime I hear about an NDA, it's because like, you know, some powerful person is trying to hide some sketchy stuff. It also looks like the kids have to sign some type of confidentiality agreement, which I do not agree with because these kids are not mature enough to understand the power of an NDA. And a third source that the Rolling Stones spoke to claimed that they can't speak about anything involving the school. I mean, their agreement they signed has completely silenced them. And Kanye does not play when it comes to his NDAs because he's currently signing someone who went to Sunday service and breached their NDA and now Kanye is taking them to court. But I do want to play a clip that's gone viral of Professor Kanye teaching his students how to sing. There's something really creepy about this video. Okay, it literally sounds like a Kanye West song. Also, are we like summoning the spirit of Donda, like his mother who lost her life because it just feels a little bit like cult vibes. Looking at some of the comments on social media, people are scared as well. Someone wrote, 10 years from now, Netflix is gonna drop a documentary called Surviving Donda Academy. A man who doesn't believe in reading shouldn't be running a school for 15K, which we'll get to that in a minute. Someone else wrote, legend has it, if you don't take your anti-psychotic medication, you'll wake up in Donda Academy. So let's talk a little bit about this school and why it was created. So Donda is a private school located in Southern California, and they teach K through 12, which is a large range. Here's a clip of Kanye speaking about what goes on in Donda Academy. Ye is hoping to pass the lessons he learned from his mother to the students at Donda Academy. How many students do you have enrolled? We're on our third year. We have 82 students. Give me a sense of why you decided you wanted to create a school 
and, and what the mission is. You know, to be a performing arts school, to be a design school, an architecture school, a farming school, um, a automotive engineering school, a computer hardware and software school, financial engineering, not just financial literacy, and also to teach the gospel. And that is, uh, that is Donda. So he's got some pretty big ideas, and those are a lot of promises to be executed in such a small school that really doesn't have that much to offer. So I did some searching into where Donda's at, which I am surprised at how close it is to me. As you guys can see, this is the outside. All you see is a black gate and some trees, so it's not really welcoming. This school is deeper on the property. If you see the little red pen, that is where the school is located. Over here to the side is like a little like, you know, equestrian like horse situation and here's a closer photo of the actual school so you can see it's one large building and then a second smaller building and the large building kind of looks like it, it's like separate buildings maybe attached here's a better picture of the school itself and i mean it's not like the worst thing ever i've seen some pretty nice private schools in my life so looking at these i'm kind of like oh okay like, mm, I thought like when you think about Kanye, Kardashian vibes, you'd think like super bougie, but this is not it. Here are some photos of the inside. I'm not entirely sure like why they have so many kitchens. I noticed that as I was going through pictures, but everything is super dated. I mean, kind of like wholesome though. Like it kind of looks, I don't know. Is it welcoming or is it giving like scary movie set? Because it's partially like, I kind of feel like, oh, I could chill in there. But then I also feel like a murder is going to come out. Here's their science lab room. So again, like I... I know that there are plenty of schools all over the country, but like I've seen a lot of nice high schools, middle schools, elementary schools that have better lab rooms than this. I think what I'm trying to say is that actually a lot of the public schools that are available that don't cost a ton of money are far nicer than what Kanye is currently offering. And I'm not trying to nitpick the facility because at the end of the day, it's the education that matters, but it is a little bit like off-putting because you think like, oh, celebrity school, celebrity status, and it's not really like that. They do have a large field, a basketball court, and the size of the building itself is 5,700 square feet, which is pretty large, but not as large as Kim's new home. She actually just bought a house in Malibu, I believe for like 60 million, 70 million dollars, and it's 7,000 square feet, so it's larger than Donda Academy. But there was a school in this facility before Donda Academy. It's called Stone Ridge Preparatory School, and it looks like they moved to a better facility, but um, this gives me hope that this building at least can properly house a private school with children. Now let's go through some of the rules because Kanye does have rules when it comes to his school and these students must follow them. Donda rule 51. Students must be confident in forming ideas. If not, their writings will suffer. Um, my children better not suffer at all when they're at school. That Donda rule 51 has caught some attention because the word suffer should not be involved in anything related to a child's academics. Here's another rule. Writing should be regarded as an activity that necessitates critical thinking, an aspect that is fundamental to all good writing, which when I read this, sure. But like as someone who like I have gone to college, like I, I used to do a lot of like research writing. And this is like saying a lot of nothing. Like you could have made this like a five word sentence like necessitates critical thinking okay bro part of me feels like kanye jumped the gun when it comes to this academy and that he's really just thrown together what he wants without thinking about what you need to run an actual school the school is currently in its third year and it looks like the students wear kanye approved uniforms which consist of baggy black t-shirts and sweatpants it also looks like the students are wearing yeezy shoes which is very on brand for kanye i mean he's got the outfits down but honestly i can't imagine wearing black every day like baggy black clothing in this california heat could be a good idea I mean, even for your psyche, like I express myself through my clothing and to have to wear just all black and like, I don't know, I, I like sweatpants are comfortable trust, but sometimes they're not because I get really hot. So I'm like, I want sweat shorts. Like, can those be Yeezy approved? But to kick off the 2022-2023 school year, Boston Celtics player Jalen Brown visited the school. He posted this picture and um, why is it giving like... <laughs> 
prison. Like the outfits are very much giving prison depression, like cool. It's all uniform. It looks great. But also at the same time, it's just like very, it's actually not creative and it's giving cult. His caption really rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know why, but he wrote Donda Academy three kids gave me their autograph today and said they will be famous. I believe them, which cute, but like, I get it. It's just like, to me, it's giving so much ego. It's like, do people really just want to be famous? Like I can understand if you want to be like a famous singer, famous, this famous, that, but like, oh, they're just, they're going to be famous because they're going to Donda Academy and Kanye has now like, you know, taught them how to think like a narcissist. The people I've seen succeed in life are humble and they're nervous and they're hardworking. They, you know, don't believe that they're going to be given everything because they're entitled to it. But I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about what the day to day looks like at Donda Academy. So Donda in a day, each day, Donda students learn fundamentals, grow in their faith and experience two enrichment classes. What are the fundamentals? Like, can we please explain that? Um, the daily schedule consists of full school worship, core classes, language arts, math and science. Okay, math and science, we see something here. Then they've got lunch and recess for K to 12. Can you imagine getting recess when you're like in 10th grade? And then enrichment courses, including world language, visual arts, film, choir, and parkour. Parkour? Isn't parkour like when you like jump around and just like bounce everywhere? Here are some of our main staff, and I want to take a moment to talk about them. You would hope that Kanye would hire the best out there because he's not necessarily experienced with running a school, so he needs some really smart people. But the people he has chosen don't seem to add up. We don't know anybody who works there besides these three people who are named on the site. We've got our principal, Brianne Campbell, and then we've got two other teachers who are listed. So Brianne is the principal here, and I want to take a moment to talk about her because I'm a little bit taken back to why she got this position. I mean, looking at her LinkedIn, she's very on brand, very um, easy, very, you know, <laughs> Donda Academy. It looks like she's still currently working on her master's degree, which I've never heard of a principal that doesn't have a master's degree already, which is okay, 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 all right. But like, wait, what? Usually principals of schools, like they have administrative experience and years under their belt. And it actually looks like she's been working with Kanye for some time. She was the choir director at Sunday Service, and now she's the freaking principal and executive director at Donda Academy. So she took a big leap. And a lot of these like companies here, like like the natural spoon one I, or nature spoon. I looked it up. It's like a wooden spoon they used to sell. So like this is a huge career jump for her. More power to her because I want to see people succeed. I mean, that's a great position to have. But at the same time, I'm worried about the children. And she's 28 years old and doesn't even have her master's yet. So um, she should have it by next year. But at this point, I just don't know if she's the best pick for a principal. Donda just started their new school year and two weeks before the school year begun, they were still looking to hire staff members. They looked on Facebook groups and LinkedIn for teachers and assistants paying 55K to 75K a year. Can you imagine hiring a teacher like two weeks before? That seems like really poor planning. I mean, how can you properly vet a teacher if you've only got two weeks until the school year starts? A representative from from the school says that there will be more information about the academy released in due time but right now they don't really care if people know about the school they are just looking to build their program and to provide a good christian education but i do think it's interesting that they're holding back so much information and making people sign ndas it seems like they're trying to hide something and just to add on to all of the concerning points i brought up in this video this school isn't actually accredited as a legitimate school, which means that if you go to Donda Academy, you're not going to college after because the classes do not count as like legitimate classes, which accrediting isn't that difficult. But if you want to go to the school and go to college or transfer to another school, all of the time that you've spent and the money just completely goes away because it doesn't count, which why wouldn't they accredit it before they've gone into the third year of schooling? I have no idea. Personally, I don't think this school will ever be accredited because I don't believe it meets the needs to actually be accredited by California. So uh, I don't 
know if this is just a passion project or what, but he's kind of screwing over the kids who are sent here and who cannot go to college or do anything with their degree that they've never earned. Plus, they're paying about $15,000 a year to go here. So they could go to public school, you know, go to classes and actually go to college with those credits, or you could pay 15 k a year. So what is that, like $60,000 for four years to go to high school here? It seems like a ripoff to me because as I'm doing research, I can't seem to find the benefits of going to this school besides the fact that you have like a choir class that sometime Kanye shows up at and he teaches you guys how to sing in a way that sounds like his song. I mean, earlier when they went, whoo, like that sounded like a Kanye song. But Donda Academy is currently accepting applications. And I found it interesting what information they ask for. I actually filled it out for my dogs. So I'll let you guys know if we are chosen, but they're not really asking for much. So I, I question like what criteria they use to determine who gets in and who doesn't. There's no denying the fact that Kanye has a hard time when it comes to the passing of his mother. And it really seems like this school is just a way for him to further cope with his mother's loss. Both my parents are educators, but my mother was the first black female chair of the English department at Chicago State University, and she was a full bright scholar. My colleague Terry Moran interviewed Donda for Nightline just months before her sudden death in 2007. Then you were a single mom. Raising yes. Him. How was a that? A single mom. How'd you do that? Uh, well, it was a lot of fun. It was a challenge, but when you have challenges, that's what makes life worth living, right? I, we, Kanye was a great kid, even with all the... He was a good the, boy? Oh, he was a very good boy. That surprises us today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a very good boy. Now, that doesn't mean that he didn't get into his share of trouble, and he would always challenge you, and you needed to be on your toes. Again, I think it's really sweet that he has dedicated this school to his mother, but I just hope that he does everything properly to ensure that these children who come here aren't just wasting time and money because they don't even really have a choice to be there. Their parents put them there. And it does seem like their athletics program is doing well. They have an Instagram for Donda Sports and they're selling sweatshirts for like $200, like shorts for $140. Like they're selling a ton of merch. So this Donda Sports, which doesn't even really exist yet, has profited a lot. As I was doing research, I found that there were some players already selected for the team, and there's someone named Jalen Hooks, which I'm like, oh my god, a fellow Hooks. Uh, I never see anyone with that last name, so I'm like, Jalen, we're part of the same, like, we're Hooks. So I thought that was cool, but I do want to talk about some of Kanye's recent actions. He recently tweeted something that's really, like, anti-Semitic, like, against Jewish people. Um, I don't even really want to read it, but he's gone in some big trouble for this. Can you imagine allowing this man who tweets and, you know, posts these things to take care of your children? I just wouldn't feel like he's responsible to do so. But, um, I mean, I, I do like Kanye, but there's sometimes where he does things like this, where I'm like, this is completely unacceptable. You cannot be like anti-Semitic like this. Also, it's just shocking to see how he really feels because that type of rhetoric hurts people and it puts his children in danger because his kids now have extra security because of his comments he's made. I guess Kim has hired the extra security because now he's doxing where his children go to school because they're not going to his school. So he's like, you know, they go to this Canyon school, you know, right here. And then he's making an anti-Semitic comments, which then put his children at risk because maybe someone will target his kids to get back at him. So that's not cool that Kanye is making those type of comments because it's not just his well-being, it's his children's now. And I hope he does take the time to go and accredit this school because like these children deserve to have a valid education. It seems like he's just trying to cultivate a cult and remembrance of his mother to help him cope but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below here's my email and i'll see you guys in a new video soon bye guys